Thank you for joining us today online for Heritage Church service. We're so glad that you joined in. This message today was incredible. Our worship set list was breathtaking. Had me crying again. Um, but we use this chance. We're not going to take up too much of your time, but this is our chance to kind of 
reflect on today's message, reflect on different points that really touched home that these are those aha moments, uh, amen moments, but um, a chance for us to read through your comments, talk with you. First thing that stuck out to you today, Kendra. Definitely um, one thing that resonated with me is um, making sure that your relationships in your life are at an even level playing field. There can't be one person that is constantly giving or receiving and not pouring back out. Um, eventually your cup's going to run dry if nobody else yeah. is pouring into you. So um, just making sure that you are surrounding yourself with those people that are encouraging you and lifting you up, but also that you're doing the same to them. Yeah. And that kind of, that part was what stuck out to me that, you know, Brad talked about relationships and things and the harsh reality is maybe you are that toxic person. So for me, even all week, um, which is funny how God's word mm -hmm. will show up in your life, but uh, all week it's been kind of weighing on doing a personal reflection. What character and what fruit do I bear? Mm -hmm. What do I bring to my friendships? What do I bring to different parts of my life? Who am I? Am I just a pretty face? Am I just funny every once in a while? Right. So I'm a very superficial, you know, person to just put in here? Or do I actually have the capabilities to, you know, mentor myself, but or work on myself, but to work on my relationship with others. Right, and I think that that is a good challenge for all of us um, going through this series is just to really pray that God continues to work in you. I don't think that we've ever reached our peak of, you know, mm -hmm. work that God can do. Um, so that God continues to work on you and reveals the flaws of yourself that you do need to, you know, build up so that you can be better for him and better for others, but also to evaluate the relationships in your life and if they're bringing positivity or if they're bringing you down and yeah. be able to disconnect from yep. from those to grow. Yep. Reflect on, you know, what um, what you do in your daily life and who is a part of that. Right. Do you spend time with the word on a daily basis? Do you worship in your car ever? Right. You know, do you ever, I mean, this is simple as basic, Basically, do you drink enough water? Do you work out? Do you eat well? Right. You know, we have different priorities in our life. And the results of your life is going to show what you prioritize. Yeah, that's good. We just had a financial peace class yesterday. What do you put your money into? Right. What is in your heart and where are you truly putting in effort? Right. Is it in yourself? Is it in God? Is it in your friendships? Or are we really just kind of wasting our time? Yep, that's good. Um, I do want to tell everybody that next Sunday is our Christmas service. Yes. And for those of you that are watching online, I'm so glad that we now have the opportunity for you guys to join us yes. online. But I do want to encourage you to come to the building. There is something about being in the presence of people who want the same thing and are going after the same thing and need to be filled the same way as you. Yes. Um, I had to be out for a couple weeks due to some health issues. And... I watched online, it's nothing like what you can get here. No. And so I just want to encourage and we everyone. Yes, we you. missed you. So but please, yes, come yes. and visit. This whole year has been nothing about cancellations and quarantine and such kind of despair that we kind of have separated and lost mm -hmm. our true focus of what this life is all about, and that is Jesus Christ. Our Christmas service is all about praising him, worshiping him, reminding ourselves Christmas can't be canceled. Your life can't be canceled because you are a child of God and God is what it's all about. Right. So please come to our Christmas service. Watch if you aren't feeling well. Obviously, um, we do want to look out for yeah. you and still be there for you. But let's remind ourselves Jesus, Jesus is perfect. essential. How perfect. Jesus is essential. <laughs> Thank you guys so very, very Have much. Have a great week, everyone.